The Science of Us presents The Positives of Negative Thinking. Everywhere you look, people are urging you to be positive, telling you that you're more likely to achieve your goals if you think you're definitely going to achieve them. But here's a surprising scientific finding. Optimism can actually hold you back, and a little bit of pessimism can be a big help. That idea comes from the work of Gabriel Ottingen, a German psychologist who's been studying optimism since the 1980s. In 1991, she studied a group of women in a weight loss program. Before the program began, she asked them to predict how well they'd do, and she was shocked to find that the women who were pessimistic about losing weight, who thought the process would be difficult and that they might not succeed, actually ended up losing an average of 24 more pounds than the positive thinkers. Ottingen spent the next 20 years doing more studies about people working toward goals, from kids fighting stomach problems to women in business school. Over and over again, she found that positive fantasies didn't help people achieve their goals, and in fact, often got in the way. Here's her theory about why. When you indulge in starry-eyed dreaming about the future, you start ignoring the tasks in front of you. Instead of pushing yourself to go to the gym or study for a test, you just happily imagine having big muscles or good grades and don't feel much motivation to get to work. But that doesn't mean you should spend all your time being pessimistic. Ottingen recommends a process she calls W-O-O-P, or WOOP. First, you think about your wish. Then, think about the outcome you want in concrete terms. Next. List out the obstacles that are preventing you from getting to that outcome, whether they're emotions, habits, or what have you. Finally, come up with a plan. If obstacle X comes up, you'll do Y in order to get around it. And whatever you do, don't get lost in positive daydreams. You'll be much happier with reality.